Hello fans of Final Fantasy XV Comrades, the multiplayer expansion. Today we're going to look at the shurikens and we are going to be sure which ones are the best. Now, there's not that many and this guide is going to be leveling them all up. Not in the best way to level them up, but in the end it's going to show you the basic attack power of all the weapons. As you can see in the bottom right corner, the shuriken stats. And you can see attack is level is 22, and this uh, weapon, the attack is 40. So we're gonna level them up to max level just to see what the um, ultimate attack will be for all the weapons. So you can see it already went up from 22 to. 61 so we're gonna keep on going and we're gonna keep on leveling them up from mithril cross it turned into rising sun with the light bound ability so it's not over yet even though we've reached a maximum it can meteorites allow us to upgrade every weapon to 120 which is gonna boost our attack power even more than ever. So, the Rising Sun has a max attack power of 122. The Light Bound is inflicting, it puts a light based element on all your standard attacks to make it simple. Alright, so we got this weapon, the Kajinu E or something, I don't know how to say it. Um, which takes magic to level it up to its first tier. Um, then it's going to take strength and vitality to level it up the rest. Let's see if we can do it with the gemstones. Meh. Meh. So. See, I'm having trouble. I gotta find a item that levels up strength and vitality the best. Uh, maybe laser sensors, huh? No. That would take away. The magic that I need. So let me continue to look. Got a bunch of these, but they won't get me far, far enough. Alright, if you find yourself in this situation, use a meteorite. It's not really gonna damage everything too much, but it's gonna allow you to simply get all your weapons to the requirements needed to upgrade it to a different model. So the next thing I got is Vitality Gemstones, and it turns to Blurry Moon, which has that Stop Touch X on it. So now that it can't be upgraded anymore, we can use Meteor Shards to get it up to 120, and hopefully that will increase the attack of it quite a bit. So let's increase some magic on it. It has one empty slot for you to add on your own ability. And its basic attack is 90. So now we have the Hawkeye, which takes Dark Elemental Resistance to level it up all the way. So we're going to do that. Um, then we're just gonna take a wild guess. Um, it turns into Fuma Shuriken, which takes more dark element to get rid of. It's probably a hundred percent. This will remodel it to the conformer. 
It has Death Touch X on it, which is really good because if an uh, enemy is vulnerable to death, you can kill him. So this is its final form. I can't level it up anymore. So I use Meteorite so that I can increase it a little bit. Its final attack power would be 134, which isn't that bad for a shuriken. So now we go to uh, Wing Edge, and we have to do some point grinding. Because this takes a lot of stats to level up completely. Well, not that many, actually. It has Rush Boost 2 on it. So, Yogi or Yogi Yu, or however you say it, Dark Road, it's its final form. It can't be leveled up anymore. And the way to tell is you would see a meteor underneath the level um, and other stats. And if you see a line kind of filling up on those stats, you got to max it out to where the line is white. So now that we have it leveled up to 120, this attack turns to 148. So that's currently the strongest. Now we have the Shuran Yui, and it takes fire element to level it up all the way. So it takes about 50 fire element. It has flame bound and offensive spell fire uh, or fire on it. It's probably gonna change to fire. Almost bet your bottom daughter. All right. <laughs> All right, it upgrades, and yes, if it's a spell did turn to Fyra, it can't be upgraded anymore, so we're going to use Meteorites, get to 120, then we're going to use Gemstones to increase the level, and this Shuriken has an attack of 85. So, so far, the shurikens can be, I don't know, kind of weak. Um, Fabuki has Frostbound and Blizzard, which, in there? my experience, I think this is going to be just like the one we just leveled up. Except for it being fire-based, it's going to be Frost. So, we're going to level it up. It turns in Sudan Shuriken. Shuriken. Sudan Shuriken. So it can't be leveled up any more than it is. We'll add Meteor Shards to get it to 120 and see how good. It gets. It goes to 85 attack again. It has a fist spell Blizzara. So here is the last one of the elemental shurikens, probably, unless they have a dark one. Um, you want to level up your lightning elemental resist. Then you can add whatever you want to it. Level it up in all your model. Would you look at that? Jeez, you find anything good out there? Not too shabby. Alright, level this one all the way up. We add some spirits, actually. Again, 85. So there is three different types of elements. That you can cast. Now we got the petrified disc. And right now it has nothing to level up except for add materials. And it turns to the cornflower. 
which has Soul Siphon X and, and Life Drain X. So, um, Soul Siphon drains 25% of damage inflicted and converts it into MP. Um, Life Drain X drains 50% of damage and converts it to HP. Um, so, we'll level this up to 120 and see if that makes this weapon any stronger. Has some spirit gemstones on it, why not? Has an attack power of 134. It's not the stronger of the shurikens so far. So far the dark road is. But we're gonna continue on and see if any of these are impressive. So I'm gonna add a vitality gemstone and two magic gemstones. It already has charge strike clear out. And it just obtained Turnabout Boost X. So it can't be leveled up anymore. Turnabout Boost X does damage output increases by 30% for each enemy on the field, maxing out at 100%. Charge Strike Clear Out. Charge attacks change into wide range sweeping strikes that cost MP. So now that we've leveled it up to its final form. We're gonna cap it out at a hundred. And shurikens look like they're a good way to add stats on. Um, now we got Iga Shuriken, which takes strength. Let's we'll just add one of those. It takes strength and spirit. So we're gonna add some spirit to it now. And it obtained face off boost X. So now it's at the max level. Face boost X does damage output increases by 30% when fighting against fear enemies. Charge strike, savage swipe, charge attacks change into critical strikes that cost MP. So now that you know what those are, we're going to level it up to 120. Not I'm gonna see how strong of an attack this thing has. Um, let's just add some spirit, or you know, I haven't been using vitality gemstones. So let's use those. Okay, 127. Still isn't the highest attacking. So now we got Dancing Cross, which I know for a fact can't level up any. It's got Tempting Tango on it. So we're going to max it up. It has an attack power of 136. So, while it's really good, it's still not the best. So let's go with Mutant Star of the Rogue. It can't be leveled up any higher. It can't be mutated. Haha, <laughs> no, just joking. Um, so we're going to add some Vitality Gemstones to it. And it has an attack power of 143. So, surprisingly enough, the most damaging shuriken is Yagyu Dark Road. And it has a maximum of 148 attack power. Um, following up can be Cornflower uh, or the Conformer. Um, Dancing Cross is good, and so is Mutant Star of the Rogue, but in all reality, Yagu Dark Road is the highest attack. So now that you have seen every shuriken, load up, 
you can make your decision on what you want to level up which one you think is worth your time in investing in hopefully this video has helped you and if it did subscribe to the channel for more updates and more videos I play a lot of Final Fantasy so keep let's make a community keep in touch alright y'all have a good day and thank you for watching